I created the Snatch Bottom Overhead Squat Mobility Program in April of 2020 when a lot of people lost access to their gym space, to the equipment they normally use, and I wanted to provide a program that would help keep people productive during this time. Even though they may not have barbells or dumbbells or resistance bands, I wanted to create videos where people could, without any equipment whatsoever, just press play, go along with the video, not have to worry about programming, looking up YouTube videos, looking up how to do mobility of different sorts, and have people find improvements in their overhead squat mobility throughout these 30 days even though they may not have the equipment they normally use. People can do this at home, in their bedrooms, when they woke up first thing in the morning, they did not have to necessarily be at a gym to be able to do these videos. I programmed the movements so that you could do these before a workout if you wanted to, since a lot of the movements are very challenging. I think what makes this program very different from other mobility programs is the focus on strengthening movements. Two, three, four, and then drive the thumbs together, squeeze up, and then back. I know some programs usually put you in yoga poses and ask you to hold them for a couple of minutes at a time, or you're just doing the same stretches over and over, or perhaps using a foam roller or a lacrosse ball. But the issue with that is it only mobilizes you temporarily and then you, you suddenly get tight again. But what you need to focus on with mobility is actually strengthening the positions that you're in. So once you actually mobilize your ankle so that you're more dorsiflex, increasing the amount of load that you're putting on the ankle so it becomes stronger in that more flexed position. Your body becomes more used to being in these more mobilized positions so that you can actually use them and incorporate them when you're doing your overhead squats. A big emphasis of this program is on internal rotation of the legs. I think that's an area that a lot of people overlook when they consider squat mobility. Try to bring that shin parallel to the floor and kick it back as far as you can. And you're gonna feel a squeeze through the outside of the outer hip. That's because it's really necessary when you go down to the bottom of the squat. If you don't want your hips to buckle under or turn under, then your legs actually turn inward at the hip capsule to allow your pelvis to descend without necessarily winking under. If you have butt wink, it's a sign that your outer hips are not able to rotate your legs inwards and to be able to keep your pelvis going neutral at the bottom. A lot of the drills that we do focus on internal 90s, doing frog pose, and a lot of strengthening movements that help to develop a lot more accessibility to internal rotation of the legs. I had over 70 people join the Facebook group back when I started it in April 2020. And I just asked like, hey, whoever wants to just join in on this free program, I'm making these videos, I'm recording them each day, and I just want people to try and test this out and let me know if it works. I had people fill out surveys a couple weeks in and also at the end, just give me constructive feedback on how to make these programs better. For example, I had a lot of people suggesting to be able to submit videos for feedback so that I could give them feedback on whether or not they're doing the movements appropriately, giving different scaling options, since a lot of the movements were very challenging for some people, being able to scale different levels to know what to do if you need to regress or if you're more advanced, what to do if you are able to take a step further. Another thing was including in some markers of progress so that people could measure at the start how their mobility was and know whether or not they were progressing better by the end of the program. And just to see differences beyond just the before and after photos, but also in actual measurements, how people felt, how easier it was to be able to achieve an overhead squat or a snatch position if people did that. I've had people send me videos of their progress and just seeing somebody's position and their snatch improve from before and after was just amazing to me. The results that I got from the program from the people who did try it out were just amazing for the 30 days. Some people started above parallel and were able to squat below parallel. Some people who were even advanced lifters tried this program out. They had really good mobility to start with, but they even saw more improvements in either reducing pain in their hips or perhaps their overhead position was a lot more upright. They just noticed things about their mobility that they didn't recognize before. I think that's a really big piece of this program is it really gives you a lot of personal insight into what areas you need the most work on. A lot of people think you just need to work on your shoulders for overhead mobility when really some problems stem from lower down. 
for example, the ankles and having good ankle mobility can actually travel upstream and cause parts of your body upwards, like your hips and shoulders to compensate for your lack of ankle mobility. Fixing the foundation can help to solve a lot of problems. And so we include a lot of different ankle exercises. We really tackle all the different areas of the body and do a mixture of stretching as well as challenging holds and slow controlled movements that really get you mentally engaged with everything that we're doing. I really think that this program is what a lot of people have been looking for and what a lot of people need to improve their overhead mobility. It's a 30 day program. You don't have to do it 30 days in a row. It's over five or six hours of video content that I've personally recorded. You get unlimited access with the program. You're welcome to take as long as you need to to do each day of the program at your own pace.